Hello YouTube, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to restore or recover the D6 smartwatch. This is the squared uh, or rectangular smartwatch. That is, this is the quad core processor um, 60, 6285 or 6280. Um, let, let me just show you guys real quick <coughs> before we start. Excuse me. So you guys know which watch I am about to restore to its factory image. So this is the D6 smartwatch. I should have run smartwatch. right there it is here's the image so we we're gonna restore this to its factory image I wish I could show you guys how to I could show you guys the, the, the watch but uh, it, the camera is broken or something's going on with it I have to figure out what's wrong but anyway let's get to it the first thing you gotta do is go to the video description there's a link to download the drivers which are these um, and depending on your software or y your operating system you just install whichever if you have Windows 7 XP or lower then you should um, install if you don't know how to install them all you gotta do is go to device manager I think it is it's been a while since I touched a Windows PC yep device manager now you're gonna go to add or yeah add a legacy then you're gonna select next here you're gonna select install the hardware manually and now you just select all devices and we're gonna have a disk. We're gonna select on I you know where you have a disk and then browse. If you got lost, just pause it or rewind it. But then here you're gonna select your desktop if you have it on your screen. You're gonna select your desktop and then you're gonna go to drivers, which is the name of the folder where they are. And you can see right here that here are the drivers. If you have Windows 8, you're gonna install the Windows 7, that's what I'm using. Um, 64 bit or 32 bit and just install them so after you do that you could also try running it directly from this from this application if you're 32 bit you open this if you're 64 bit you open this one and run as an administrator if it doesn't work just as an administrator just run it normally and should install so after you do that and install the drivers you have you have to restart your computer so it can register the drivers and you don't have any problems so after you do that you just uh, do this following steps in the folder that you download from my videos description you're gonna have this this is the flasher the flash tool this is how we're gonna fix the watch if you are stuck on the home screen or you updated it that's what happened to me I tried to update to the latest version from the watch and it never it never boot it never booted back when I um, updated the software so anyways so here's the uh, the tool and you should have the software which is the latest one I'm gonna have it on the, on the uh, same link or the same folder that you guys download from the video description and this is the software we're gonna use make sure you have the W602 which is the smartwatch D6 the one that I just uh, searched for online to show you and after that we're gonna come to the <coughs> excuse me to the application the 
flash tool and we're going to select random test emmc test then we're going to go here and we're going to add we're going to add the select twice on it and it should pop up now we're going to go to the desktop and you're going to go to the folder where your software is in and it's right here so you're going to select the scatter text so you just mark it or select it twice and you should go in or you just save and if it, that pops up just select say yes here we're going to select ok because it's automatically um automatically because we just uploaded it to the application or the flash tool and here you shouldn't have anything here yours should be blank we're going to go to scatter loadings and we're going to go to desktop to the folder where the firmware is the same thing same thing we just did but on this um, case so and select the scatter scatter file or text here we are so now format you're going to validate you're going to format the whole or format the whole flash so anyway that I always do that so it's, it's a clean install um, the bootloader sometimes is laggy so I just install the newest if it's on the software here you see what I just did I just went to options and you're gonna see if everything here is the same as on your computer is mine main ones are this four install update should be checked USB checksum I don't I don't check none of this storage checksum that's to check the storage or but if uh, everything goes well remember this is at your own risk I've done it twice once or twice so I'm just letting you guys know how to do it I'm not responsible for any damages so anyway now that everything is checked and everything is good we're going to format all and download or format all so let me see format up. all right format all plus download downloads means that it will download the whole software to your device format all is that it will erase everything on your watch and then it will download it from your computer to the watch that's what it means anyways let's just get to it your smartwatch should be off when you do this <coughs> or I'm sorry let me see I think connect your cable to the computer and see if it reads it reads the watch okay so I connected mine yeah once you hear that that means it's it's reading it so now we're going to select the download if it doesn't do anything you should see a red bar and then blue or purple if it doesn't do anything that means that leave it leave it connected but now we're going to stop it and boot the watch let it boot if yours is stuck and um, you don't have anything on your watch your watch won't turn on just leave it off and connect it and disconnect it while it's while the download button is pressed you select the download and if it doesn't do anything just unplug it and plug it back in on your computer you don't need to do this you don't need you don't need to boot your watch um, I'm booting because mine's is working it's just a little laggy so I'm trying to see if I can fix that but anyway if you're not if yours is not booting just plug it and unplug it once this is running just select download and plug your watch while it's off and that should work if yours is not booting if it doesn't work unplug it from your computer leave the power button on the watch press for at least 10 seconds and then connect it back to your computer and you should see what you're about to see down here at the bottom of the software or the flash tool 
you should see a line here you go I'm gonna select download now that my watch is booted I'm gonna select download and now I'm gonna shut it off and you should see a line at the bottom a red line and then a green or purple and let's see let's wait until it's off Let's see what happens. It should have started already. So I'm just gonna. There it is. I'm Ops. Mine is still on. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta shut it off. There it is. <coughs> now you should see the lines at the bottom where it says what I've been saying. There we go. Red. So it's one hundred percent formatting. Green means it's good and purple which means it started to flash to your watch. Remember this is to the D six smartwatch. The one running Android five point zero or five point one, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's, it's been like a, a month or two since it came out. So you, yours should um, you should see that yellow line on yours, and do not connect it or touch it or do anything because these um, um, watch have those magnet um, chargers, and if you touch it, you can just unplug it in the middle of it and you have to start all over because then you'll be stuck and it won't boot like I was just saying if it doesn't boot just um, unplug it and you should see all those lines at the bottom but anyways <coughs> if everything went well a pop up on your screen should uh, show a round green circle saying 100% and a check mark saying that it completed successfully so let's see what's going on, let's see what's happening, let's see if it does it, most of the time once it's uh, on that part, it'll complete, there it is, so it, uh, it, it, it flashed the whole, flashed the whole ROM, and now we have a brand new watch, you can just close everything and unplug your watch, and let after you unplug it, it will not start like for you have to leave the power button press for like 10 seconds again so it starts to boot because it won't boot just by touching it like you do normally. But, anyways, that's it. That I just want to show you guys this tip. And until next, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to help you. Peace.